you know, Benny was just ranked number one in D2. So it felt great to come out here with my boys. We had a great talk and chat about teamwork. So it felt great to come out here and get that win. And then it, it made it a little bit sweeter when the homecoming king. I've been on homecoming court every year. We had one, and this is my uh, fourth or third year getting it. And since I got homecoming king, it just put the cherry on top for me. Whether it's state rankings or probably more importantly playoff points, you know, they were number one in the region. Mm -hmm. How big was this for you guys tonight? Uh, I mean, it was big, but at the same time, you know, we haven't won a state championship yet, so that doesn't really bother us until we're there and we win. Uh, we're still working day and night, uh, watching film, yoga, all of that, you know, just getting healthy, coming out here to play. I think it was huge for us. Um, I think it was a little bit of a confidence booster. Um, I think it's huge when we go out and you tackle a team that's, you know, undefeated, clearly, number one in the region, number one in Division Two, and we went out there and, you know, we held them to 10 points, so. I think the defensive coaches did an unbelievable job at halftime. And I get my, my coach, coach Renzi Parnell and, and his defensive staff did a great job of doing some adjusting and putting some more heat um, and some blitzes in that second half. Where we got them in second and third and really long. Um, and then the rain, you know, helped us um, in those situations where you get third and long and it's coming down sideways. Um, it's really hard to throw the football. How big are these last few weeks for you guys? Great. I, we, what we got next week? St. Ed's. That's going to be a fun game for me to play. All, all, all gas, no breaks mindset for these playoff games. It's early in the year. We're kind of finding our feet. And finally, everything's starting to click. It hasn't, seen, it hasn't seemed like we have been, or it seems like we have been clicking, but like we've really been in the so. I don't get big into the computer points things because it kind of, you got to win. You know, we, we've been around long enough and the staff's been long around enough. And some of these older kids have been around. Um, you know, we don't care about points and where you get seated and, you know, all that nice stuff. You know, I'm the AD and the, they want to make a little money on home games. It's just about getting better every week. So, you know, if, if well, no matter what the score was this, this week, is if we got better, then you're, you're that much more ready for week 11. Because too many people worry about regular season, too many coaches and kind of get focused. It's, it's, it's great to win and get in the playoffs and do those things. But with 16 teams getting in, the ideal thing is just to get to week 11, getting better every week. And that way you're peaking at the right time. And I think we've been able to do that uh, really well in the past years. So that's what I'm just trying to keep our kids head right on that and just be able to peak at the right time. And, and I told him, you guys heard me, we're not good yet. We're not a good football team. Um, we've got to get good.